What's going on YouTube? My name is Moridan and welcome to something called What Would You Do If? Hmm. I've seen a, a, a few, not a lot, a few people do this on YouTube and I thought why not give it a go myself? So let's see what I would do if. Play! Play that shit. Alright, what would you do if you... Oh, what would you do if... Walter White suddenly stopped by and asked you to get in his car. Get in the car, tell him to fuck off. You're the one who knocks. <laughs> deny his request. Um, I would not deny Walter White that fast anything, because, you know, it's Walter White. You will fuck shit up. Um, but then again, I, I don't want to be his bitch for the rest of my life, so... Yeah. Um, I I think I would take my chances and tell him to fuck off. Yeah, I I would take my chances. Okay, a lot of people would deny his request, which I well, I mean he's a good guy gone bad, so maybe there's something good in him. So I understand the reasoning behind deny his request, but I I I would I would, I would be scared. That's that's basically it. I would be scared. All right. Second question, what would you do if you had to erase one skill completely? You can relearn it later. Oh, every single language you know, social skills or using your body. Tough one. Very, very, very tough one. Because, well, you need language skills to uh, know what people are saying and to know how to communicate. So I would not, I, I would not consider uh, every single language you know because then you go back to the baby phase and you don't want to do that you don't want to go back to the baby phase I, I think I would um, choose social skills because I don't really got any so I would I would that would be um, the skill that is easiest to learn and using your body is just not an option because then you just shit your pants and as in the first, uh, as in the first option, you go back to your baby face. And who wants to do that? Who wants to shit his pants in front of adults, even though you're an adult or baby? Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, it's social skills, definitely. That's that's the easiest to relearn. So, all right. Next. All right. What would you do if a cockroach relaxed on the ceiling while you were showering? I don't really mind cockroaches. Or, well, I'm not grossed out by them. I, I do mind if they're in my house, because that would mean it's a mess, and I don't want it. I, I, I don't want cockroaches. Fuck that shit. Uh, conclude the shower, ignore it, or knock down and squash it. I read that upside down. It's okay. Um, I would... What would I do? Knock down and squash it, and... Maybe have it fall down on your head, and uh, then you have to beat it out of your head before you can squash it. And cockroaches are very difficult to kill. That's also one thing. Um, ignore it. That's a very good possibility because, well, ignoring is something I'm good at. Conclude the shower is. I don't know. No, I would not conclude it. No. I, I, it's, it's not really an option that fits with me. I think I would, um, I, I think I would ignore it. Yeah, I would ignore it. It's not something that, you know, it, it doesn't really bother me unless it falls down on my head. Or on my feet or anywhere on my body. No, I would not have a cockroach on, oh, Jesus. Uh, never mind. Next. What would you do if you became the leader of the Soviet Union? <laughs> Terminate the USSR, cooperate with the West, invade Western Europe, and start World War III. Well, I'm not really that much of uh, a dictator, so I won't invade the West. Just, just, just to make it clear, I won't invade the West. You're all good. I would. Um, rather cooperate with the West to make the world a better place 
but then terminate the USSR. Mm, it's a difficult one because terminating the USSR also has a lot of benefits to the West, but then what would become of the country itself? So it's 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 a difficult one, but I would. It's. It's hard to really know what the consequences are by terminating the USSR. So I think I would cooperate with the West. That would seem like the best thing to do. Because then you can have world peace. You, or well, it's a step towards world peace. You have a, you have a higher chance of reaching a, a global understanding. And a global human rights sort of thing. So cooperate. All right, what would you do if the US president landed on your lawn with a helicopter and ordered you to buy him KFC? So if Trump lands in my lawn, I don't really have a lawn, so I'm good with that. I mean, he would land on on a parking lot, so I'm I'm okay with that. Um I would uh would I obey and hum hail to the chief? Stay inside and eventually get arrested get KFC and then sneak into the helicopter um, obey and hum hail to the chief I would never do I mean what what can Trump do to me I'm in I, I live in Europe so well not his territory fuck it uh, stay inside and eventually get arrested why why would I get arrested <laughs> it's, it's, it's not logical it's not his domain so no uh, get KFC and sneak into the helicopter, but I don't. I don't. I don't want to go into the helicopter. I'm not afraid of heights or anything. But I mean, no. I, I think I would stay inside and, and just risk my chances. It's he can't arrest me on European property, so you know. But and I'm lazy. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get KFC for him. Alright, next question. What would you do if no one ever took you seriously? Live like a fool, become an internet celebrity, do your best to appear intelligent. Uh, if no one took me seriously, then the last option would be out of the question because no one would take me serious. So, it's even though you appear to be intelligent, people will still take you like a fool. Ah, live like a fool. Um, so, that's no, that's not an option for me, at least. Uh, become an internet celebrity. I, I can live with that. I can live with that. Live like a fool. Well, that's what I do most of the time. So, hmm, hmm. tough question. Tough question. Live like a fool or become an internet celebrity. Um. This I already do. Live like a fool I already do. So that's that's all good. Then I think I would become an internet celebrity. Alright, guys. Next question. Next question. What would you do if you gave birth to an alien? Give it up for adoption. Keep it. Just dump it in the street. I would keep it. That, that's not a hard question. That's really not a hard question. I want a little alien. I mean, come on. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Okay, keep it. Yeah, that's it. 68% wants to keep it. No doubt. No doubt. Next. What would you do if you found yourself in a zombie apocalypse? Steal a yacht. Escape to the country and try to survive and get bitten before you die, die hopelessly. <laughs> Why would you die hopelessly? I mean, come on. Um steal a yacht last one is no no I would die fighting I would die fighting because if you get bitten you die eventually so if you die fighting why not I mean, come on. Okay. If, you're, if you're gonna die why not die fighting that's what I'm trying to say escape to the country and try to survive is a good option because you have food you have hopefully water um, you could have guns there. It's it's just a matter of uh, what do you take with you. 
as Steel a Yacht is you're gonna drift out at sea. You avoid the zombies, but you gotta run. You're, you're running out of food sometimes. I mean, except if you take a fishing rod with you, but then oh wait, yeah, I would I, I would definitely consider Steel a Yacht, but eventually you run out of fuel. Huh. Uh, this is a tough one. This is a really, really tough one. I think I would steal a yacht. Because you can get all the stuff that you need on the yacht. You can fish for food. You have water for days. I mean, come on. You're, you're in a freaking ocean. The only thing that you can worry about is gas. That's the only thing that you can really worry about. But then again... They have lifeboats, so you can swim ashore if you need to. So, I would steal a yacht. Yeah. Let's get to the country and try to survive. What? Okay. That's the majority. I'm different. Ha! <laughs> Next question! There's something in my eye! Damn it! Oh wait, it's hay fever. Fuck! Alright, next question. What would you do if you could see the future? Mm. Play with the stock market. Warn the world of coming disasters. Kill Austin Powers. Ah, I can finally have the chance to kill Austin Powers. He's unbeatable though. Huh. I don't know. Um, play with the stock market is not really something that I'm interested with. Interested in. Uh, warn, warn the world of coming disasters. Um, that's something good for humanity, but, you know, eh, eh. Kill Austin Powers, I'm really considering doing that. But then again, Austin Powers is a fictional character, so it doesn't really play a lot in the real world. I think that the only thing I can do is warn the world of coming disasters. That's the only reasonable thing to do. Play with the stock market, I don't, it doesn't really have any influence on me, because, you know, I, of course I can influence the stock market and just, or well, no, I cannot influence the stock market, but I can put my money on something that I know is gonna deliver me a lot of money, but fuck it. We're in a world of coming disasters, let's do something good for humanity. Yeah! Alright, and last question of this video is gonna be what would you do if you walked into your room and saw yourself sitting in your chair surfing on the computer uh, uh, I would freak out what the hell <laughs> walk out hope it'll disappear say something get a new life while spying on your clone <laughs> um, um wow I, I would freak out, so I think I would walk out and hope it'll disappear, because that's just weird. I would not get a new life, because I love my life. I love it. Uh, say something, I, I wouldn't know what to say. I mean, what would you say in that kind of situation? I mean, that's, that's just crazy. Uh, I, I, I would not have anything to say. No. Walk out and hope it'll disappear, yep. Yeah. That's, that's my question, my answer. That's, I don't know. I wouldn't know what to say, so a lot of people say, say something, but what would you say? Like, hey, dude, in front of your computer, I'm you, you me, what? You know, that's weird. Weird. What kind of conversation would you get? Oh my god, I, 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 I really can't think of anything. I can't think of a conversation that I would ha that I would have with myself. Maybe brainstorming about what kind of videos I want to put out, what kind of content that I want to put out. Huh. In that situation, damn it. Ah, I can't change my answer. Damn it. All right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button and. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. 
And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see each and every one of you in the next video. Bye-bye.